Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this eye bolt. Let's get right to it. For starters, let's go ahead and change the units to inches for this exercise. Let's create a sketch on the right plane. Start out with a center circle. We'll make it about 0.219 inches in diameter. What we want to do now is take the center point of the circle, measure from the center point of the sketch, and distance is going to be about 0.329 inches from the center. We're going to constrain the center of the circle to the center of the sketch point vertically. Now it's fully defined. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. What we want to do now is use the revolve tool. We're going to need to select the axis. We're going to select the Y axis, which is the green bar. And click OK. Next, we're going to create a sketch on the front plane so we can model the base. I'm going to start out by using the slot to command, center point slot, and just create a slot like so. Now, let's vertically constrain the center point of the slot to the center of the sketch point. I want to go ahead and dimension the center points inside of the slot. We're going to make it about 0.463 inches. What we want to do now is basically dimension the top line to the center point of the sketch. We're going to make the distance about 0.584 inches. Okay. Next, we're going to give this edge a radius of about 0 0.05 inches. And now the sketch is fully defined. The next step is going to be to make the top line, the bottom line, and the left arc construction geometry. Okay. Now, I'm going to create the profile by which we need to revolve. I'm going to grab the line tool, make sure the construction is not selected. We're going to construct it as follows. Profile is now closed and fully defined. We'll go ahead and finish the sketch. Next, we're going to use the Revolve tool. As you can see, the profile is once again selected. All we have to do now is select the axis. The axis we're going to use is this blue line, which is the z-axis. Click OK. Next, we're going to create a sketch on this top face. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and hit Control 9 to basically make wireframe view without hidden edges. Okay? Create a sketch on this top face. Select the center circle command. We're going to make the center circle about 0.219 inches. Finish the sketch, select the extrude tool, 
We're going to extrude this up about 0.255 mil inches. Sorry. Operation is going to be joined. Click OK. All right. We're going to hit Control 6 to go back to shaded view without hitting edges. And now we're going to give it some fillets. We'll select this edge, this edge, as well as this edge. I'm going to make it 0.167 inches and click OK. OK. Next, I'm going to create a sketch on this bottom face, okay. Select our center circle tool. And we're gonna make this 0.25 inches. Finish the sketch. Select the profile. Use the extrude tool. We're gonna make this about one inch in diameter. Correction, one inch long. Okay. And finally, we're going to give it some threads. I'm going to select this face, set of faces. We're going to make it modeled. And these are going to be the dimensions. Click OK. I'm going to go ahead and give it an appearance, slap some chrome on it. But we're going to drop the, the actual shininess and make it a little bit more matte. And that does it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about making an eye bolt, and I hope it hones your skills and utilization of Fusion 360. Please like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.